Hello everybody, my name is Stephen Njohi. I'm a Kenyan by birth, studied in Kenya, worked in Kenya, and plan to marry in Kenya. So basically I was born uh, a few years ago, 29 years ago, in Djibouti Hospital. It was on a Monday, beautiful Monday, that's what my mom, my mom tells me. Uh, I went to good schools. The best experience, I can recall one thing I recall in nursery school, we were supposed to build our names using clay soil. So we were modeling our names. So that's why we were taught how to write, read, and build our characters through molding. So I joined, I joined primary school, I think, in 1998-99. I don't recall exactly the exact dates. 1999-1998, uh, around that bracket, that was in a, a certain school called Galaxy Academy. Then I proceeded again, I transferred to another school called uh, Nyakia Kandavi, if I'm not wrong. Then I went to another school called Good Shepherd Catholic Academy. That's what I did my class eight in 2006. I did well as a Kenyan boy. And uh, I was admitted to a school called Kangwe Boys High School. That's when I joined in 2007. A small experience in Kangwe Boys High School. Monolization was the norm of the day. So a guy would just give you a kikombe evil, tells you to fill it with the darkness, and it's 10 a.m. in the morning. So you can just imagine. A very bright day, and you have to fill the cup with darkness. What do you do? <laughs> You had just to do the what you have been told, just cover the cup with a paper, and you're done. So that was in 2007 to 2009. Later, uh, from two seven to now from 2009, I transferred to a certain school called uh, Annesta High School, just in Nakuru County. That's where we did my form four in 2011. Yeah, and I think life was good at Annesta. Although waking up at 4 a.m. wasn't easy, sleeping at 9.30 wasn't still easy, but mungu ni nani, mungu ni mweza. We did it all, and uh, as, t as a team, we managed to do our KCSC in 2011, and 11th November 2011, I was a free man. Done high school, sasa nikuwa na ilia katensho, nikakungoja exam results. And fortunately, we did well, and I got my grades and I'm happy. Uh, I got a B, that's what I got in high school and I was happy with it. Yeah. Well, in Form 4, I recall there was some kind of career guidance and uh, at least the, our high school, that was Ernest High School, uh, brought some few guys from different universities to guide us on the best choice of our careers and they were more of categorical because they gave us an option of selecting what we want to do in future based on our grades. In September 3rd, 2012, I was admitted to University of Nairobi Nursing School. And uh, this was uh, one of the most funny journey that I've ever experienced because so you know nursing nursing isn't just a course that you do evo evo to it's a demanding course that's number one lasma usome napia uyelewe kabisa so I joined nursing school in 2012 we did it up to 2016 we were done with that so the good thing of nursing school I was able to see life in a different perspective because number one, you see that when you go to those hospitals, people have a lot of issues. But here, hapa kwa ground that tunanga hizo maneno mingi mingi, so that it gives you a different perspective of life. That's number one. And number two, juu of course ni ngumu, number one. So you have to strive a bit na usome zaidi extra. Vitabu lazima kule pale. In 20, what, 2017, I joined St. Paul's University to do uh, BA in communications. 
and a, and a new journey unveiled itself. A beautiful journey indeed, a beautiful journey indeed, which I loved it, I enjoyed it up to this moment. Because this is something I've always wanted to do and something I've always enjoyed to do. Every morning that I wake up, I'm always willing to go because I do something that I enjoy. Being behind the camera, behind the mic, doing some production is one of the best things I've ever do in life. Uh, I think the studio is one of the busiest day uh, because number one you have to set up everything the con the mixers the Mac computers the Windows computer to ensure that it's not kazi kuna one we check whether there's internet number two we check the functionality of all the computers number three the keyboards are mixer kama ziko sawa bado zote because we find sometimes we find that the audio isn't picking here the speakers aren't picking also so you have to set up everything and also kusaidia majama hapa hapa na pale with their productions their editings trying to configure their work to be the best that they can produce that's uh, the in the studio which is enjoyable very enjoyable indeed it's one of the jobs that you'll always be paid for having fun so uh one of the best things that I enjoy doing here is taking the students to field production, especially within the campus. We produce some drama, short content, which I feel it's one of the best because I'm able to impart the students with the best skills that I know, that I have been able to capture for the few years I've been in this industry, which is very enjoyable because we know how to venue on a pump, on a pale, to an alemoku, fix camera comp stand, we need a mic in Mlemiaku fix the audio production na kwa ni ngumu but tukimaliza shoot napata mseme hiva kila kitu so that's the best part so education is the background but the skills and the experience molds you to be the best because we may have a master's degree but when you go to the ground how would you give to me a camera so that's a waste of uh, the resources that you used in the studies so i believe that the skills and experience form the bottom line of this industry because you have the you should have the skills so that you'll be able to be given a job to do. When you go to film uh, uh, private functions, you must be good in these productions. You must be. It's not an option. It's a must. Yeah. Mm. So my motivation are the people I work with. Uh, when I mean people I work with is the students and the private people I work with in, in the field uh, that every day they learn something new when they go to the field. That's one of the things that motivates me that whenever I come to the studio I teach you to do something and you learn even if you're not going to be 100% fit but you're from 0% and now you're in 20% that's one of the best motivating factors that every day impact you in one way or another. That's the best motivation. And uh, that makes me to, and there's a phrase they always use, that I'm not the best, will never be the best, but I will strive to be the best. Number one, in the media industry, wachana karatasi, paperwork, weka backbench. Get the skills, get the skills. Number one, because when you have the skills, you are, 10 steps ahead of anyone who has all the papers in this world. Because when you go to the field, you find that when I'm taking someone to the field, I don't ask the paperwork. I ask simple things. One, can you shoot? Can you edit? Can you take a photograph? Can you manage your sound? If you can do it, you are in it. If you can't, you are out of it. Good. Beyond teaming up with Aaron Ribuye. Some of the best Oh, this man, the bald man, bald man. What will be para? Good morning and welcome to Light FM. My name is Tuna Jai. Oh, this is St. Paul's University Radio Station. Be part of this radio station. Just join me. to St. Paul's University, University of Choice. This is where I work, this is where I do all what I do, and life is good though.